Almighty God, Almighty God, our generation shall praise your name, our generation shall praise your name a generation shall praise your name a generation shall praise your name yes lord a generation we praise your name our generation shall praise your name the generation of those who praise the name of the lord let them shout hallelujah hallelujah we bless the lord for his faithfulness and loving kindness with tender mercies that we've enjoyed in the past three days of waiting upon him. And we want to thank the Lord for the strength, for the ability, for the health and wellness he has given to you and me to stay at our duty post in calling upon his name. And today, again, his name will be glorified as we pray in the name of Jesus. Amen. Today, day four, you are welcome from wherever you are watching within Nigeria and outside Nigeria. The Lord will bless you and answer all your prayers in the name of Jesus. Amen. Today is very, very important, particularly because we are praying for our future. You are praying for your future. You are praying for your children. And if you are trusting God for the fruit of the womb, today is a good day that God will hear and answer your prayers that in nine months from now, hallelujah, you will also have your own child or children in the precious name of Jesus. Amen. Today, we are praying for our children. Psalm chapter 127 from verse 3 to 5. Psalm 127, 3 to 5, the Bible says, Lo, children are an heritage of the Lord, and the fruit of the womb is his reward. As arrows are in the hand of a mighty man, so are children of the youth. Happy is the man that had his quiver full of them. They shall not be ashamed, but they shall speak with the enemies in the gate. Glory be to Jesus. These are wonderful promises that God has made to our children and to us through our children. God is going to cause your children to possess the enemies of their, the gates of their enemies. He's going to strengthen them to be mighty upon the earth in the name of Jesus. The Bible says in James 1, 17, James 1, 17, every good and every perfect gift is from above coming down from the Father of light, with whom is no variableness, neither shadow of turning. What God did before for the children of the old, for Joseph, for David, for Daniel, for young men and women in the Bible. The same God who does not change will do them in the lives of your children, will do them in your families, even through your children. In the name of Jesus, amen. The introduction tells us that children are heritage of the Lord. They are good gifts and blessings from God. And that is why the enemy is out to attack them. The enemy is out to destroy what God has called good. And as we pray today, we forbid the devil. I forbid the enemy. I forbid the host of darkness over your children in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. We are going to raise and alter our prayers with fire for them that God will arise and scatter all the enemies of our children in the name of Jesus. First prayer point, we are going to say, Father, thank you for the good and perfect gift of children in the name of Jesus. Thank you, thank you, thank you for the gift of children. Let's sing this song as we give thanks to God. Thank you, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. 
Lord, thank you, Lord, for everything you have done in our children. Thank you, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for everything you have done. We are saying thank you, Jesus. Oh, thank you, our Lord. We are saying thank you, Jesus. Thank you, my Lord. Your children are precious gifts that you should thank the Lord for. Thank you, my Lord. We are saying thank you, Jesus. Thank you, my Lord. For every child, every family, with children, we say thank you, Lord. Thank you, my Lord. Oh, we are saying thank you, Jesus. Thank you, my Lord. Father, we thank you for the priceless, special, wonderful gift of our children, of your children. I thank the Lord that you had the ability to bring them forth to receive them from God and to bring them into this world. It's a precious gift. It's an uncommon gift that only God can give. Lord, we thank you for the precious gift of all our children in the name of Jesus. Number three, you will say, Father, don't allow forces of darkness harm our children in the name of Jesus. The forces of darkness will not harm your children according to what Jesus did in Matthew chapter 17, 14 to 16, when he delivered the child of that man, the child that was oppressed, that was in captivity, that was possessed. Jesus set that child free. The same Jesus is alive. He will fight for your children against every forces of darkness. In the name of Jesus, your children will overcome, they will prevail, they will dwell in light. The light of God will keep them and secure their destinies. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. You will say, Father, make our children mighty vessels in your hands. In the name of Jesus. Father, make our children mighty vessels. The Lord will make your children mighty vessels in his hand. He says, as arrows are mighty in the hands of the mighty, so are the children of the youth happy. Is the man that has his quiver full of them. Thy Lord God Almighty, through your children, they will cause, they will be mighty. He will cause them to be mighty vessels and instruments in their generation. In the name of Jesus, your children will not be small. Your children will not be weak. Your children will not be insignificant. Your children will not be non-entities. In the name that is above every other name, your children will be mighty vessels, bringing glory to God, bringing honor to you, bringing favor to you, bringing prosperity to your family. In the name of Jesus, in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. You will say, Father, give parents hearts of commitment and wisdom to raise their children in a godly way in the name of Jesus. As a parent watching right now and listening to us, I want you to stretch forth your hands and say, Lord, I receive wisdom to raise my children in the way and in the fear of the Lord. Beloved, the Bible says in James 1, 5, if any of you lack wisdom, let him ask of the Lord who gives liberally and upbraids not. Parents, you need unique wisdom for times like this. The measures that you need for this time to raise your children, they are different from the ones we had 5, 10, 15 years ago. The way your, your parents raised you is not the way possibly you will raise your children today. You need more skill. You need more understanding of the times and the season. That is why you need to receive wisdom from God, divine wisdom, to be ahead of your children in guiding them, in leading them, in teaching them. The Bible says, train up a child in the way it should go. Receive divine wisdom. Say, I receive divine wisdom to raise my children to fulfill their destinies. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. You will say, Father, I come against any hindrance that will stand in the way. 
that will stand in the way of our children climbing to the top in the name of Jesus. Come against them. Come against them. Every hindrance, every obstacle that may want to block your children from rising to the top, from fulfilling their glorious destiny, the Lord will separate them from them by fire. The Lord will pull them down by fire. Your children will emerge. They will rise against and above every hindrance and obstacle. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. You will say, Father, destroy every snare of the wicked designed to trap our children in the name of Jesus. According to Psalm 124, verse 7, the Bible says, Our soul is escaped as a bird out of the snare of the fowlers. The snare is broken. Your children are escaped. Your children have escaped in the name of Jesus. Every snare designed, one of the snares the enemies are designed for this end time. To capture children is the social media, the internet network. Many children have been entangled by the web. They have been entangled by the net of the internet. The almighty God begins to set them loose now. Erika do Santo Likade, that child that strangers have entered into his life through the internet. Be free, be free, be free. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. You will say, Father, we command every evil plantation upon the lives of our children. Be uprooted. Be uprooted. Demonstrate this prayer as you are praying wherever you are watching and praying. Say, I uproot. I uproot. Pick from the ground and uproot every evil implantation in the lives of any of your children. I uproot them now. You want to call the names of your children and say, I uproot evil plantations in the life of Folua, Kemi, Folonu, Shofini, Folua. Put the names of your children there. Every evil implantation that is growing, germinating, waiting to bear fruit of disgrace, waiting to bear fruit of, re of reproach in your child's life, in your family, Oh God, we uproot them now by fire. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. You will say, Father, we command, Oh Lord, arise and do a new thing in the lives of our children. In the name of Jesus. Let's sing this song as we pray that prayer. Do something new in their lives. Something new in their lives. Something new in their lives today. Do something new in the lives of our children. Something new, oh God. Something new in their lives today. All things are passed away. All things are becoming new for your children. God will do something new. According to Isaiah chapter 43, Verse from 18, 19, the Lord will do something new. Every old way of life, of oppression, of regret, of shame, or reproach, of failure that has been tormenting or holding your children captive. I pray and I agree with you in the name of Jesus. A new season for your children. Mekira no kotolia, blow away oppression, blow away rebellion, blow away sicknesses and diseases from your body and from the body of your children. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. You will say, Father, we terminate every form of parental evil transfer in the life of our children in the name of Jesus. As we terminate every evil parental connection with your children, pray in the spirit. Every evil transfer, we cut you off. We neutralize you. Menike de bokondo bo libre ni kanote nita. Ibra neke tokorimro kosheke put. The parents will not eat sour grape and the teeth of the children are set on edge. No more shall that proverb be in your home in your life. The Lord has forgiven you of your past. He has brought you into an inheritance with him. Your children will not suffer. Every evil or wicked consequences of your past or that of your parents, in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. You will say, Father, we decree that our children will not depart from the commandments of the Lord. In the name of Jesus, your children shall be thought of the Lord and great will be your peace. The laws of God will be written in their heart. 
that where you are not, God will be there with them. Where you are not speaking to them, God will be speaking to them. Your children will hear God. They will have ears for God, eyes to see the things of God. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. You will say, Father, let our children possess the gates of their enemies in the name of Jesus. Every gate, every door, every access way meant for your children to possess, for them to be great in their generation. As we pray right now, we position them. As we pray right now, we link them up. As we pray right now, we strategically move them to that place, that access point to gain entrance, that gate, that door, particularly every child of age, trusting God for a life partner, trusting God for a good job. I agree with you today, with your parents today. The Lord will make a way for you. The Lord will make a way for you. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. You will say, Father, we command the spirit of laziness. Get out of our children. In the name of Jesus. The spirit of slothfulness, laziness, indolence. Get out of your children. Get out of my children. Your children will be zealous in the things of God. They will be diligent with their studies. They will excel in their assignment, in their course of study, in their profession, in their career. Your children will be greater than you. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Say, Father, let the joy of salvation enter into the lives of our children. In the name of Jesus, every child that had backslidden, Every child that is struggling to, to know God, to love God, to be interested in the things of God. Today we command that your interest be restored. We command that every veil, every covering in your eyes and in your heart, not making you to move close to God, be separated from them now. From now you begin to love God, you begin to serve God. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. You will say, Father, let your wind blow in my favor, my family, your church, and my nation. In the name of Jesus, the wind is blowing. The wind is blowing in your favor, in the favor of your family, of your children, and of the church in the name of Jesus. The wind is blowing favor for you, blowing blessings to you, blowing prosperities to you, blowing answers to prayers to you, blowing signs and wonders to you, blowing testimonies to you, blowing success to you, blowing unmerited favor to you, blowing access way, open doors to you. The wind is bringing every good thing this month and throughout this year to you. Ten times better, hundred times better you will be throughout this year as the wind blows for you and your family. So shall it be. Give praise and thanks to God for all that he has done because we know it is permanent. In Jesus' mighty name we are prayed. Amen. If God has answered your prayers and you believe in your heart, shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. Please, with that same conviction in your heart, you may need to rewind and replay this video and pray for yourself, your family, and particularly your children. Also, share with the family you know. We we'll need to pray these prayers for their children because we believe we serve the prayer answering God who will intervene in your family and in your children's life in Jesus' name.